Hi, I'm Robin, this is Living Simply, and today we are doing some yin yoga for the upper back and shoulders. My back and neck and shoulders are absolutely killing me today. I slept funny and I really feel stiff, so I thought it's the perfect day to just do a little routine to get, just stretch everything out. So we're gonna start lying on the floor with a supine twist. So bring one knee up to your chest and then roll it over to the opposite side and uh, stretch out your opposite arm. Turn your head to face your arm and then just breathe. Now, because this is yin yoga, we're gonna be holding each pose for around two minutes. So you've got plenty of time to just relax into it. Breathe slowly, deeply. As you breathe in, you can imagine the oxygen going into any part of your body that feels tight. And as you breathe out, you can imagine your body just relaxing, letting go, the muscles getting longer, um, that twist maybe getting a bit deeper. Obviously, if you get bad pain when you're doing any of these moves, you do, you do want to come out of it until you're not feeling that bad pain or maybe just do a different stretch if this one's not good for you. Especially since we're talking about back stretches and back pain today. It's a very, very sensitive part of the body, very important part of the body. And I definitely don't want you to, to push through any kind of pain that feels bad. It should feel almost like a massage for those aching muscles. So keep on breathing. I can see if your eyes are not shut you might be able to see that my foot started hovering above the ground and now just through breathing and lying here for nearly two minutes my foot is actually touching the ground so I can already feel a difference and see a difference um, in just that short space of time On your next inhale, just slowly, gently bring your leg back to the center, pop it out straight and bring your other knee in, roll it over to the side and stretch out your opposite arm. Obviously turn your head to look at your arm and uh, exactly the same thing as before. You're gonna take those lovely, long, deep breaths, breathing the oxygen into any area that feels tight that feels you know a bit sore and as you exhale you'll be relaxing and letting it all go This supine twist is an amazing posture for pretty much any back discomfort that you might have. It's amazing for just resetting your whole spinal cord and it's super easy and accessible at any time. Obviously you could do this multiple times a day if you wanted to and felt that it was helpful. When I, after I had my second baby, I had sciatica, which is extreme pains uh, running down your legs or sometimes up your back. And this position really helped me a lot when I was having those sciatic pains. Um, later, I went to a chiropractor who clicked my bones kind of back into position and that uh, completely cured my sciatica actually. So I was really, really lucky, but this position was really helpful in managing the pain when I had it. So on your next inhale, bring that leg back in towards your chest and lie it out flat. And then slowly roll yourself up to a seat. We're going to go into our next pose, which is puppy pose. So you want to be on your knees with your hips above your knees and you're stretching both arms straight out in front of you. Your forehead or your chin should be resting on the mat. I uh, can't do the chin. The forehead is the one that I always go for in this pose. Um, Ideally, your arm should be straight, but on this day, my back was very, very tight, 
and I needed to keep my arms a little bit bent in order to get the stretch in the right position for me. So feel free to take some time to play around with the position of your arms, of your hands. Um, now, as you can see, if you take a quick peek at the screen, I've put my palms together into prayer pose and just put them above my head, which gave me a lovely stretch along the back of my arms. Um, if that feels good for you, please go ahead and do it. If not, then just continue playing around with that position of your arms, that stretch along with your upper back. Everybody's body is different and what you need on a particular day will be different. So never feel that you have to follow a video exactly. You need to find what works for you on that any given day. So deep breaths into the spine exhales out you might be able to find some stillness here or you might still be moving a little bit stretching We're going to go into our next pose, which is to thread the needle. So lift your right arm up to the sky and then uh, through under your arm. So your, now your shoulder and your ear should be touching the floor and your left arm should be stretched out in front of you, above your head. And your hips should be above your knees. And again, you're taking those deep breaths into your upper back, between your shoulder blades into your shoulder and neck as well, letting all of that tension just release, letting your muscles slowly stretch with the, just the time that they're getting to sit in each of these positions today. Being patient with your body, you, you know, not everybody will be able to get maybe all the way down into this position. Just find the place that you can get to, use a block or a pillow or a blanket if that's helpful to make yourself more comfortable and just breathe and let your body do the work that it, it can do by itself. chin to the mat if that's accessible to you and then stretch that right arm out above your head um, as you can see actually I it was my right side that was the tightest on this day and it was a bit painful for me to stretch my right arm out in this position so I chose to keep it bent um, if stretching it out is accessible to you then please go ahead and do that if not as before just play with whatever arm positions are working for you today using the breath to breathe that oxygen into any areas that feel tight, using your exhales to release, relax, and just let your body do the work.
and on your next inhale, pop your arm under your shoulder and push back up to a seated position. Well done, my shoulders and back are feeling so much better. I hope yours are too. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you here again soon.